fish clean socks on. <laughs> Don't mess up my set over there, Bola. <laughs> Did you fully just mess up my vibes? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Raising Heights with Zach and Tori. I'm Zach. I'm Tori. <laughs> I am very excited uh, to get how. Are you nervous? I am. I think you're a little over? nervous. We, you we don't start over? just keep going. You're no, doing like, your thing. Seriously. Really? We just start over. I've been like nailing this though. Let's start this over. Okay, we'll start it over right now. We are officially podcasters. We are podcasters. We, we're here. We're doing the dang thing. Yeah. Welcome to Raising Heights with Zach and Tori. I'm Zach. I'm Tori. And this is our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> they let anyone in these days. <laughs> they do. Um, yeah. Why are we starting a podcast? I think we're starting a podcast. My opinion of why we're starting a podcast is we still feel like we have really interesting stories to tell and we still want to tell our stories. And this is our way of doing it through our own journey perspective. What? I agree. No, yeah. keep going. Why Why are you starting a podcast? I am curious on how I would love to talk about what I want to talk about. Mm -hmm. And like we have fans. I believe they're fans. Some of these fans are fans of Zach from Little Pivot World. Mm -hmm. Like not Zach. Like how many fans know who's actually Zach they is. know who you are from little people big world they don't actually know you yes I'm not to say the depiction of me on little people world was like not right but I feel like this could be a lot more in depth yeah you know I think there's a lot of things just it's normal reality television multiple characters you don't have time you know and the show was a lot about relationships and just different things on the farm but I feel like this, I can go into like what interests us, what mm -hmm. interests me, you know, things that I'm passionate about, you're passionate about, and people can get a more in-depth understanding of us. Yeah. So that's what I'm excited about to do with this podcast. Uh, Raising Heights, how do we come up with that name? I have liked Raising Heights from the beginning. That was always my... Yeah top pick. We had a couple different ideas of what we wanted to name our podcast and Raising Heights has always been at the top for me, just because I think it encompasses a lot of different things. I mean, it's obviously a play on the height difference within our family, but I think it's a like a fun kind of play on words of we're raising kids, we're raising relationships, yeah. we're raising life right now. And it's the perfect... I don't know, kind of name to encapsulate. We're raising heights. AI helped you though, too, right? I mean, probably a little <laughs> bit. You used like I AI. didn't want to use the short stature and the tall lady. Yeah. I wasn't really into that. But you like use the app and like it works, right? Why didn't we? You know, what we should have called this podcast. We should have called it, except for that. If I had a podcast of my own, which I'm already like branching off away from you. <laughs> <laughs> if I had one of my own though, do you know what I would call it? What? Reaching top shelf. <sighs> Reaching the top shelf. Reaching the top shelf. Reaching. <laughs> That's a joke in our family is I'm reaching the top shelf for the rest of my life. You are. And I'm okay with that. Yep, you are. So, okay, maybe we should tell people who are here for the first time. Thank you, by the way, for being yes. here and finding us. I hope you can stick around. Uh, maybe we should tell them, though, a little bit about us, not just like the show, but like about us. So I'll let you explain it because it's kind of more obvious. Yeah, Zach and Tori uh, roll off. Um, we have three kids and a dog, mostly known for uh, being part of the family from the Pubic World, the reality television show. The it's longest running reality very TV. Very long running. Yeah, I was 13, 14. Zach has like a Guinness Book of World Records. Somewhere around this house. Somewhere around there. That yeah. was a couple of seasons ago too. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we were I was grew up on the show, reality television, and 33 now. So someone can do the math there real quick. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's time to move on. Uh it's time to pivot. Uh but for those who don't know, Zachary 
has a chondroplasia, which yep. is a type of spinal dysplasia. Yep. And skeletal, we have skeletal dysplasia, not spinal. Skeletal, oh, skeletal dysplasia. You're right. You're right. Sorry. <laughs> skeletal dysplasia. Way to fact check me. Yes. Um, and our three kids also all have achondroplasia. So they're just like dad. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, three kids, Acon, they're supposed to be a 50 50. Um, We're convinced it's 100% in this house. I'm not good at math, very bad <laughs> at the whole math concept, but I've heard in statistics, mm-hmm. such thing, don't laugh. <laughs> Okay. There's such thing as a cluster. Yeah. Okay. So you can still be, if we had 20 more yeah. kids, we could, the next three could be average height. And totally. but by the end of it, it's still 50, you know, you know, however many I just said, you know, 50, 50 yeah. dwarfs and average height. So, you know, but we're happy with our kids, right? We are, we're, <laughs> we're batting a thousand over here and yeah. we love it. We're, and I think that has to do with our title raising heights is we really are raising a family and trying to do it in the best way we know how. Totally. Um, do you want to say anything about yourself? Oh yeah. I guess I'm here too, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, I'm Tori. Tori Roloff. I don't have achondroplasia and I taught before I met Zachary. Or I guess Wally no, taught you. You were, no. Or Wally. Whoa. Yeah, whoa. You were in school. <laughs> I was in school when we met, but I went to school to be a teacher and I taught kindergarten, loved it. But then once we had our first Jackson, yeah. then I stepped away from teaching and we got married somewhere in there too. Got married. And yeah, I guess, did we say our kids' names? Our kids' names are Jackson, Lila, and Josiah. Jackson is how old? Six. How old is Lila? Three and a half. Four. Four. <laughs> She's four. She just turned four. Lila is four. And how old is Josiah? One and a half. One and a half. How old are you? Should we say a little something about them? Well, I'm sure we'll get into that. Okay. You never said how old you were. I said I know, how old that's I was. That's the rudest question. 33. How old are you? 32. <laughs> I thought you weren't supposed to ask a woman that question. Oh, I thought it was about weight. <laughs> or that question too. <laughs> or if you're pregnant or not. <laughs> Dear, yeah, don't ask. That. I've gotten asked that question a couple too many times. Yeah, what's wrong with age? I don't know. Um, But I do think something important that maybe you haven't said yet, but I do feel like something, one of the reasons why we really wanted to start a podcast was we have some of the best fans. I think some, like since I've been on the show, we've been able to meet some really cool people. And I think this is a really cool way to connect with fans more. And like you said, help them get to know us better and the real us. Yeah. And like what we're truly passionate about and what we're excited to talk about. I would agree. Yeah. I, yeah. Learn. Yeah. Have a more in-depth, you know, fandom of you and I yeah, and our family. And, and this could just be be great opportunity to, to like speak on issues and are passionate to us. Yeah. So I also just think too, this is like a really good therapy session. Like we're saving a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> on therapy by just sitting here. Hey, we didn't talk about <laughs> our, okay. We talked about how old all our kids were and everything, but, uh, we got married in 2015, 2015. So that means how many years have we been married? What's going to be our wedding anniversary? Is this uh nine? <laughs> we're coming up on nine. I was just jumping I ahead. Did, I was just jumping ahead. So you didn't ask me. I did kind of like, wasn't it last year that I got it wrong? Yeah, I, I asked you, you and get it you, wrong. Yeah. you got it right and I got it wrong. All right, good. We have that on I the I feel like now. after seven years, I've kind of lost track. So we're going to be, this is going to be year nine. nine. Yeah. Wow. So Which we, is such a like spec in the spectrum of the world. And we met in 2010. 10. We met in 2010. What were you doing? I was going to school and at WSU at WSU to become a teacher. And I got a job at the farm. She's a greeter. Kind of as a joke. I'm not going to lie. It was a little bit of a joke, but it kind of turned out in my favor. She says hi to everyone. I was the greeter. I was like at the front. Every time somebody walked in, I was like, welcome to Roll Off Farms. And and like the number one question was... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> the number one question was always where's the bathroom 
pointed people to the bathroom, let them know where to buy their tickets. And then, oh, to your right, you'll see Zach Roloff taking pictures. So that's my job. Did we talk that first year? I mean, we didn't volunteer. I, you didn't voluntarily talk oh, heaven that no. first year. Heaven no. <laughs> so when I first met Zach, he was the shyest human. I've like, you just didn't talk. Yeah. I think the first time All I the ever. All fans actually know that part about me. <laughs> <laughs> Can I actually like, tell you though, my yeah. first, do you remember our first time ever meeting actually like, or having a conversation? Was it under the cover? Was it the cover no. bridge? Yes. Yeah. See, I you know the remember. story. Yeah. Do you know what we talked about? Oh, we talked though. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It was did. with Katie Shep. No, Katie Shep didn't work there the year I, the first year I worked no, there. And I was smacking down a Helvetia a burger. Helvetia Tavern burger. You had all the stuff. Yeah, it was all you, over. her, and we talked. Really? Okay. Can I tell it from my perspective? Okay. So I'm the greeter, right? And yeah. this particular year, there was a woman who had oh. a medical, what? Or, sorry. Yeah, okay, continue, continue, continue. Did that ring a bell? Yeah, no, 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 continue. So I was working the front and a woman had a medical emergency in her Prius. I'm pretty sure it was a Prius. This was the first time we talked? This was the first time we talked. I don't remember this. So this it wasn't poor, the hand thing? This poor lady ran into the fence like she had this medical emergency in her car she plowed into the fence at the front of the and so I'm the only employee that's up there so everyone was coming to me asking me what happened yeah it's the most exciting day I had on the farm and then we had lunch at the same time we were eating underneath the covered bridge and you asked me about it and that was like the first time we had a conversation is I told you what happened all while you were slamming down a Helvetia Tavern. Yeah, I was a messy you eater. Were, you still are, dude. I love you, I, but yeah, you've come man. a long way, but. <laughs> and I still, no, but hold on. I haven't changed. I eat fast and I, so I slam you it down. For kids, I blame it on kids now, but no, I've always. You've always been I that can, way. Yeah, I can throw it down. It's so true. You've always been that way. So you, there's no, one thing about our relationship, I had no surprises. I yeah. was straight up. Zach keeps getting surprised every year <laughs> yeah. with me. I was spicy. I was super consistent. I still am. Okay. <laughs> okay. So that was the first time. So, okay. Talk about the hand story then. Okay. So then fast forward. It was, I think the last week we were there. Right. I don't I, so. I was really, I got along really well with another coworker named, can I say her name? Yeah. I got, a, I got along really well with our, our coworker, Shelly. Like her and Shelley, I talked all the time. But Shelly was also my... Like I would go down and meet fans and she would help facilitate that, take yeah. pictures. So her and me also talked a lot. Yeah. Like she was with me and she would, you know, hi, you want a picture with Zach? Take your camera and help facilitate that. Yeah. And I, I was standing here greeting everyone and you were standing like 10 yards away from me taking photos yeah. with fans. So anyway, I talked to Shelly all the time. Shelly talked to Zach all the time because she was helping me with pictures. And I don't know if it's true. You could set the record straight here. But you told her that I was cute, but you'd never go out with me for whatever reason. Fact or fiction? There needs to be more context. <laughs> okay. Well, the way it was presented to me was Zach thinks you're so cute, but you would never go out with him. Like so immature, high school, whatever. Well, I said, joke's on him. Tell him to ask for my number at the employee party. And Shelly goes, no, no, no. Come over. Or no, then she's like, okay, I'll get him to, I'll get him to. And then she's taking photos with you. And she awkwardly calls me over and she goes, Tori, you have to feel Zach's hands. They feel so warm. You have to come feel them. So I came over, he had hand warmers in his hands. Came over, felt his hands. I was like, this is unbelievably awkward. This guy's never going to call me. Thank you, Shelly. Bye. <laughs> yeah, then we didn't talk after that. <laughs> and then the employee party. I did not talk. I don't even remember the employee party. Everyone dressed up and I hate dressing up. And so I was always, yeah, already so kind of insecure because I was like, I'm not. And then you won. won. Zach's ego was up here. Yeah. Mine was way down low because Zach was wearing girl skinny jeans. Yeah, which I still your have. Your mom's leather which jacket. Have, which I could put on one, in, which one of these so podcasts annoying. I could put on. <laughs> That's what the people want to see, man. You had your mom's leather jacket and your hair was like 
the Fonz. That was the Fonz. You were, Fonz. You were so yeah. good looking driving a tractor that way. It, yeah. it, like, I won come on. the employee dress up party. I didn't dress up and I fell the second because we were bowling. Yeah. And the second, I was so embarrassed. The second time I yeah. threw the ball down the thing, I fell. So I was just feeling it. So I was, my ego was shot and Zach's ego was through the roof. I was super busy. <laughs> you were super busy. <laughs> so we didn't talk. So we didn't talk. And fast forward, what well, we can remember, <laughs> fast forward a couple months, January, mid-January. Mid-January. Which, by the way, the point of this story, we should have said this in the beginning. Oh, yeah. Valentine's Day is coming up. Right. That's the point of the story. <laughs> Valentine's Day. There was so, a point somewhere yeah, in there. moving along. Um, we get to... January, I called you up, cold called you is how we remember I it, right? I remember it, yeah. I just called you up. There's no text history of this. No, because flip cold phones, cold. you had to like delete. Your, I still have a flip phone. Right. But you have to delete it. You had to delete text messages <laughs> to back to then. get more text messages, yeah. yeah. Uh, I called you up. We, you came to the farm because I wasn't going to So drive. you cold called me though. I and, cold called you. And I think it was one of those like, what are you doing tomorrow night? Okay, cool. Let's hang out. And that was the whole, that was all there was to the conversation. I didn't say like, do you want to go on a date? Like I not, just said like, yeah, I don't think up? it was that at all. Oh, I don't <laughs> think it was that at all. But you didn't even give me, there was no, there was no like instruction. Okay. Also, I remembered this little detail this morning. The next day, because I'm pretty sure it was the next day we had this date planned, right? And you're like, meet me, yeah, meet me at the farm. I don't remember those Well, whenever details. it is, whenever it was. I feel like I would have called you on like a Wednesday. Whatever it was, when it, when I met you at the farm, there was no information exchange. It was just like, hey, come to the farm at seven o'clock. Okay. And then I asked you, what's the address to the farm? Google it. <laughs> you told me to Google it. <laughs> this guy, this guy, I should have known then. Google it. <laughs> well, so I Googled it, met him at the farm at seven o'clock. Now, if you've ever been to roll off Why farms, do you need the address of the farm though? You worked there for a whole month. I probably, oh, well, that's a good point. Maybe that was a different time. Maybe I was giving it to somebody else. Yeah, good call. Okay, good to carry on. Anyway, though. I show up to the farm. And if you've ever been to Amy Roloff style farmhouse back in circa 2011, 2011. there were always people there. Yeah. It was always friends. a chaotic scene. But yeah. then also this particular night, it, everything was pitch black. Yeah, none of the outside lights were on. That would never be, like, the lights weren't on. Tori was already scared out in the wilderness by oh, yeah. herself. I was going to get eaten by a coyote for sure. <laughs> but I roll up, I park my car, and you have, and Zach's very specific about where you have to park your car. I uh, know, the MR car. was like that, and everyone knows that. You cannot just park. <laughs> so I'm already think. scared because I'm like, I'm going to park in the wrong spot. So I park my car in the spot that I believe Zachary is telling me to park in. MR was your boss, too. You knew this about him. No, okay, MR like, loved me, too, because yeah. I always, I have my own parking spot the next year. Yeah, so don't. <laughs> anyway, park my car, and I'm walking the, what is it, 50 yards? Yards to the front door in pitch black, thinking I'm gonna get yeah. eaten by a coyote. Knock on the door, which also never happens at Roloff Farms. People just walk in, but yeah, I knock we're on all the door. Like, That's weird. Who's That's here? Who's here? And they open the door, and there's like seven guys standing in the entryway. All my friends. All of Zach's friends show up for this guy's first date. They didn't all show up for that. They were probably already there. Oh, uh, I don't no, know. No, they that. were already there. Okay. Yeah. It was still intimidating. It was intimidating to come to the door with seven guys just being like, have fun, Zach. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. So then we anyway, go on the date. we go on a date. Uh, Where did we go on that date? We went to a movie, Country Strong, which became which kind became of a thing. Kind of a thing. We should watch that again. That's a great movie. Country Strong. And then we. Um, Zach sat like hands folded in his lap the entire yeah, time. Seeing for sure. Jesus, like tool. did not. Even give the opportunity to hold hands. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. For like, you didn't even know this is a date, and you're thinking I was going to hold your hand. Mm, I don't know. So we I mean, a, I was an experienced dater, so I, I thought know you, you were. Gosh, <laughs> talk about that in another episode. <laughs> Too many crickets. Uh, we went to a movie, dinner, and then on the way home, we we're passing the farm, and I said, "Like, do you want to keep this party going?" Mm -hmm. And you said, "Sure." And so we drove past the farm up to Skyline. Yeah. We got out of the car, right? We did. Yeah, we walked, walked up Skyline. Mm -hmm. Yep. The clearing. Got back in. That's probably illegal, though. Coming home, though, we called up Mueller and Jeremy. 
And I, we, I was lost at the time. I was like, man, I can't, do we take it straight or do we go right here? And then they're like, hey, Zach. <laughs> they told you were supposed to go right and they told you left. Yeah, or straight, whatever it was. They specifically got us lost. Anyway, an hour and a half later, we ended up in Scapoose. You guys can do the map, look up the farm, Google it, and then look up Scapoose, okay? <laughs> Significantly. <laughs> and we're talking a, a back significant roads. Significant distance away. Yeah, not Highway 30, okay? Yeah. Backwoods, okay? So anyway, <laughs> about an hour and a half later after our, you know. And this was before the time of like, look up directions on your phone no this is flip phone yeah this is there not, was no directions on yeah, the phone yeah this is and i didn't have a map in my car okay yeah, like, no. <laughs> uh we finally got to scott Poo's. from scott Poo's, i can get to highway 30 logie trail then but we also home. had to stop in scott Poo's. And we, had we had to, to stop gas. and ask for you got it you had to get gas and you had to ask for directions in scott Poo's. i don't think so highway 30 i would have known by then but i think you were asking the guy at the gas station like where is highway 30 <laughs> no scott Poo's is right there live. Okay, anyway, finally we get home. Finally we get home, and that was the date. But in that long journey... It was like a four or five hour date. We were very long. comfortable. We became very comfortable in silence. Yeah. Like, there's times we chatted, but then there's also times we were just cruising. Yeah. Also, I found out Tori played soccer. Huge. Can I also just say, though, cute moment? Yeah. I knew that night that I was going to marry you. You had no idea. No, I didn't. I put my hand up and say that. I knew that night because of how comfortable we were in the car together. I knew that night that I was going to marry you. That's super cute. Isn't that super cute? Okay, keep going. I ran a co-ed team though. And we were always looking for girls soccer players. So ching, date (laughs) worth. (laughs) And of course I'm like, I'm so good. (laughs) I'm so, I played one year of high school ball. I'm so good. And the first time I passed her the ball. It was a glare. I sucked at we soccer. talk about that in the. We went back in some of our Facebook messages though, oh, and we had a whole conversation about how I was rude to you. You, you <laughs> like, yelled. No, but also, so Zach, the farm from my house growing up was forty-five minutes on a yeah. good day. So I would drive forty-five minutes to play a forty-minute soccer game. Yeah. And he would invite me to a campfire after because there yeah. was always when a campfire did, yeah. every single night. Unless it was raining. Yeah. So he would invite me to this campfire and promptly not talk to me. Wait, so hold on. We're skipping the Valentine's. So this is January. Okay. So, and then we started, play, you started playing on the co-ed team pretty right away, right? But then Valentine's came around and what happened? Because yeah, we had been, I think we had gone on a, one day and then played soccer like two day, two times in a row, two weekends in a row. So it's like three weeks of hanging out. Yep. Valentine's Day rolls around. and. I did not receive a Valentine's Day text from you. I can't, I don't even, I don't even think that remotely crossed my mind. <laughs> it, clearly, I remember being like, he's going to say something that morning. It's going to make my day. He's going to say happy Valentine's Day. This guy is the guy for me. And Zach didn't say anything. Yeah. Silence. Yeah. <laughs> there was nothing. Radio silence. From Zach. Yikes. So we question often in our relationship how I stuck around. Yes. How did you stick How did I stick around? How did, it's a miracle. It's a miracle. There's multiple things. But then though. Zach also thinks he's going to write a book on relationships oh, now because yeah. he's got one and done. One, so. Not one and... Yes, one and done, but one and... Like, yeah, one and done. <laughs> one one and one. done. <laughs> if you he's do, an expert If now. you did what I did, we talked about this. If you did what I did intentionally... That's probably called toxic, but <laughs> yeah. I was very like you doing my thing. I was it. on my mission, playing soccer, working indoor goals, PCC. I was just re- and you moving. just you knew by not saying Happy Valentine's Day, yeah. you were like no, that was hook no. line and sinker. I, I got it, this. It one. definitely hooked you, but I'm saying like <laughs> I, you can ask me what I want to be back then. I would have said soccer coach. I want soccer to play soccer. Coach. I want to work at indoor goals. I want to do this. I want to do that. I had all my Right? Am I right, though? I had all my lines figured out. I want to ask you this question now. Yeah. When is Valentine's Day? February. Mueller's birthday is 9th. (laughs) February 11th? (laughs) Uh, When is it? (laughs) When is it? When is it? I don't know. When is it? (laughs) You still don't know. February 14th. I said the 11th. It's the 14th. Oh, that was a solid close. <laughs> no, that's a solid. You missed the day. <laughs> All right. February 14th. 
And when a girl says she doesn't want anything for Valentine's Day. Get her something for Valentine's get Day. Get her something for Valentine's Day. I've been pretty good since then, right? Yeah, you have. I've been solid. You have. You do flowers very often, which is very... I love that. I love having flowers. Yeah. And we do the candy. and The candy. And you kids, buy, it's fun. You buy me really nice jewelry. I love when you buy me jewelry. Have you fixed that necklace? I though? haven't. Our kid... Our Josiah is a little bit of an aggressive guy. He grabbed my necklace and just yanked it off. So I have to get it fixed. But you do jewelry really well. Thanks, babe. My ring. My you do piece gift of giving really well, though, too. Thank you. you ra- I remember one of the first, like, Mark, I would say. What is it? Mark Cohen? Oh, do you remember that? See, did I give you something for Valentine's Day? That must have been for your birthday. No, you didn't. You did something for my birthday. Mark Cohen. I I yeah. read that Facebook message. You gave me all your favorite Mark Cohen yeah. songs and I made you a CD. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Remember when we used to make CDs? I thought you just straight up got me the CD. I think you got Maybe me I the got Mark it Cohen for you. CD. Yeah. Huh. Even better. Yeah. We're aging ourselves hard here. Mark. Flip phones. No Google Maps. Um... CDs. Don't even get me started Tori, on this was only messenger. like 15 years ago. I know. 15 Isn't years, it? all those things are Is completely that only 15 gone. Years ago? That's so wild. Well, you said we're we're going on our 2010. Ninth. So yeah, it's 14 years ago. 14 years ago. Yeah. All that stuff's gone. Man, our kids will Crazy. never know. They won't even know what a commercial is. They won't even know what a commercial is. Isn't that wild? Much less rewinding stuff and switching that down. No, anyway. Well, we've come a long way in our relationship. Yeah. So Valentine's Day is coming up, though. Get your girl a Valentine. Yep. Even though, even if it's flowers. Even if it's a card. Even if it's a text message. Just text her. At least text her. Learn from Zach. Text her. What's the likelihood of guys watching this first podcast? I think I got about 5% on my insights. 4% yeah. maybe. Well, if you are a guy <laughs> watching this and... <laughs> You got a girl, you're hanging out, but you're not sure. Still get her something for Valentine's Day, right? I don't know, though. It worked out in your favor. Like, maybe not. But if you're intentionally not doing it, that's toxic. Toxic. So now that you've heard this from us, you got to do it. Yeah. If you're just oblivious. Yeah. I think you were just oblivious. I was totally. I had no yeah. clue. Like, <laughs> you had no idea. I, like, I knew Valentine's, but I don't do feelings very well, though. You know that. Like, At I don't. All. And now I would have been expressing some hard oh, feelings. Roll offs don't do feelings <laughs> whatsoever. <laughs> You've gotten better, though. I've gotten but better. But we've also gone back through our Facebook messenger, messenger messages. We've gone back through our Facebook messages from what was it, 2013? I said we were super annoying in 2013. Like everyone was though. And I would send him like a three scroll message. You sent me some engagement thing though in 2012. You were I knew. I knew on yeah, that date that were we gunning. were gonna get married. Jimmy Cricket. You didn't know it. But I, I was knew just it. enjoying it. I was having you were my first girlfriend. Like it was mm-hmm. I was enjoying it. I was just like I let's know. Just, it's fun. Let's hang out. Let's I'm do so it. glad we don't have to do that anymore, though. Date. It's a dating. Yeah. Guessing. It was kind of fun. It was exciting. I'll say it was fun. It would be fun to like, you know, our kids are in, you know, that stage six. What do we just say? Four and one. Yeah. But get back into where we can just be spontaneous and date. And we do a good job of dating, though. I think we, we do a we good date, job. We, we do a good well. job. But it's, it's, you're still, we're at I feel age. like we get to the point though, in our dating life right now, that we need a date. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like, a, oh, we're exhausted and we need to reconnect without being interrupted. Yeah. Let's go on a date. Instead of just, hey, I want to go on a date. Like, tonight's the night. It's just this season of life. It's not, yeah, we have to put that on hold. They, there's, people come up with messages all the time about that. Like, get through this season <laughs> of life and then you can... Not get through this season of life is very fun and enjoyable, yeah. and it could be the we're gonna look back and it's be like that's the good old days, yeah, you know. But for our relationship, it is it's very kid dominant, yeah. which is okay to say, and it's exhausting at the yeah. like it can be exhausting, but it really is rewarding, and I think that's one of the things about this podcast that I'm excited to like talk about because I think that's something that you and I are really passionate about is parenting and kids and relationships and people and all the things. So it's going to be fun. 
I feel like, yeah, we just have, I have a lot to say. I feel like, I feel like I'm a lot, I can be more interesting and I know a lot more things than I publicly let yeah, off. People let, yeah. You know? Zach is one of the, you're one of the most well-read people I know. We'll go to like parties or gathering, not parties. Not well-read, not, like, not well-read. Don't say that. That means like book smart. No, but not necessarily. Well, right. I, like, like I, I feel like we can go to a gathering of people and somebody will bring up a topic and you know something about it. Yes. Like, you know, it may not be the whole, the whole factual, like it might not be everything, but you know, a good amount. I about, appreciate that. Okay. Yeah. I guess I get, yeah, I can have a conversation about general what, what's going on in politics. You could do like sports, pop culture, pop culture, to like yeah. politics, to sports, to some random railroad system that used to happen in Hillsboro or like, there's yeah. just so much. Okay. To no, your, I get that. Yeah. You don't like, we can't finish books in this house. I wish we could, but like you, we, you read articles. You are very, I used to read books, <clears throat> but I think reading articles killed it. Yeah. Cause it's hard when you read a book, some of these books, they're very repetitive. Yeah. It's 300 pages. And it's like, this could have been a, this could have been a 30 page yeah, this article. Could have been an email. It could have been an email. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Like it. But like, that's why I feel like I have come to podcasts and like audiobooks because you can listen and be working at the same time. It's awesome. Yeah. Um okay. So yeah. So something that we hope to do each week on our podcast is something that we do in our house all the time. So a lot of times during dinner, we'll ask each other what our peak in our pit is of the day. And we're hoping to do that on this podcast. So yeah. usually we'll probably open with this, but why don't we talk about peak and pit for the week? What was your peak? My peak 100% was the snow that we got here in Washington. Should we clarify that you guys, Valentine's Day is coming up when this airs. Yeah. But we're filming this in January when the snow just happened. It's a little bit of a lag. So there's a little bit of a lag here. But this week. But this week it snowed. Yeah. And it was so much fun. We played outside so much. And it was just beautiful. Our kids are at a good age. Jax is at a great age for the snow. But also you did a great job. You have the kids dialed. You know, for when the few times we do get snow, they have their outfits. Right. We're not mismatched all over the place. Yeah. We have a good snow outfit that stays in a box, and yeah, and it's we. So I think that made this week enjoyable. So much easier, yeah, yeah. So so that was definitely a peak. Just watching the whole family. What, what about was, you? What was your peak? Ooh, peak. Um, I really like it when you walk around the property. Yeah, I tell you that all the time. You do, and tell you me walk that. around it quite a few times this week. I love walking around because yeah. you always do something on the property. And it's fun to go see what you're doing. But I like it when you go out there and enjoy the property and yeah. you know, just We are definitely blessed with where we are in southwest Washington here. For those of you who don't know, what do we have? Like two and a half acres? Two point one. Two point one acres of land that has a really cute creek that goes through it. Yeah, we're kind of backed up. We're the last house on the driveway. And so we're backed up into to like this forest area. It's so peaceful. Especially, I love, I love summertime here because obviously summer's great, but I love when our creek is going because yeah. you can just go sit by the water and it's so peaceful and relaxing. Yeah, no, I love it. That's one <clears> thing <throat> when we, we can talk about how we found this house later in another episode, but yeah. it was a water feature yeah. in a backyard. And a house that I love. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so that, yeah, that was my peak watching you enjoy the property, Thanks, the backyard, man. walking around. You took that gorgeous picture too, the sunset. So good. So. Pit. Ooh. Okay, honestly, my pit, this is kind of a random one. So I taught for almost six years. Yep. And I was in my own classroom and I loved what I did. I had great classroom management and I thought I was a really great teacher. I subbed (laughs) a couple of days this year. And I realized I'm not as great as I thought I was. No, I think you're, what do you mean? It was, it was hard to sub. I, I will throw my hands up and be like, subs are amazing. That's a really difficult job. Yeah. 
And that was kind of discouraging for me because I thought I was going to be like, oh, this is going to be easy. It's going to be so great. And it was, it was not as easy as I thought. It was a little out of practice, a little out of rhythm. I mean, that's what it is, is I am not, what's it called? Conditioned. Yeah. I'm not in, I'm not in shape. And the first day was canceled for snow. (sighs) So you get thrown off. The second day has a two hour late start. Yeah. So it's like. But I think that I always kind of pictured myself going back. Yeah. In a subbing capacity. Yeah. I don't know if that life's for me. I think, okay, that's unfortunate. That's your pit. I think you are a great teacher. Thank you. Can bring great help to our kids' school in the future. If you choose, you already do with parent teacher. Um. Or what's it called? Parent teacher classroom or just volunteering. I'm yeah. the classroom mom. Classroom mom. mom so I, class mom. So yeah, I've you know, don't let this discourage you no. too much. I well, I think that was just my pit of the week though. Yeah. It was like it was hard. Hmm. But I still love teaching. I love being with the kids. It's my fave. What's your pit? Sometimes the kids can be tough. Yeah. They had a couple moments. That would have been my other answer. We had yeah. kind of a rough week with the kids. The kids are great, but like. Being stuck at home during a snowstorm and yeah. everyone's on top of each other. It was, it was a pit. And Lila, Lila's coming into being a, not a toddler. She's coming out of her toddler. She's a like little a girl. Kid, yeah. And Jackson's a, like. A boy. In, yeah. Or a boy, but like they're in that same, they're coming, she's coming into his phase of life mm-hmm. where they, instead of Jackson's here and then Lila and Josiah are here. Yeah. Lila and Jackson are here and Josiah's Lila's here. starting to have her own opinions and, and her own thoughts. Yeah. And, and she's, you know, Jackson come play or come do this, but Lila can come too. Yeah. She's old enough now. She can do this. She can stay up. She can, you yeah. know. And I think that they've just been going through a sibling situation. I think they've just, which everyone tells me it's normal, Yeah, but it's very disheartening. It's hard to watch your kids fight and argue with each other nonstop. They're not nonstop, but they certain situations. They're not, they haven't been great in the car. car They haven't been been, great. Yeah. I need my van back. I haven't been able to drive my van, which separates everyone. So we need my van back. Yeah, the Subaru puts all three of them in a row there. They're all in their their space. That was probably my pit. Yeah. Well, tomorrow's a new day. Yeah. We're going to be better parents because of this. And yeah, I think I'm excited to dive into some parenting stuff on this podcast. Yeah, parenting well, stuff. I think, I think uh, that's what we love. We love talking about parenting and the psychology of children and Yeah, some, things to, some things to expect, yeah. you know, parenting talk. Um, Zach's things. excellent relationship advice, how to get the girl. Yeah, heck yeah. <laughs> done we already did that one one and done check okay we don't have to talk about that again <laughs> um soccer dwarfism um motherhood yeah motherhood. i'm hoping to bring in some motherhood kids that, that's the expectation on season one yeah of this podcast and um, i think that but also that we'll be in tune to like comments and yeah, fans and that's what i was gonna say you know, there can also be like hey this is what we heard um yeah I'm excited to hear what you guys have to say too about, you know, what you want to hear from us, what you want to see, what you want to have on the podcast. And um, yeah, I think we have some exciting things planned though. There's would, some, ep- there's some episodes yes. that are spicy, top notch. Like I can't wait to talk about them. And I have no problem to doubling back when, if we hear something in the comments mm-hmm. saying, Hey, last week we talked about this. Just want to yeah, button that clarify. up because here's a comment that, Clarify oh, something. So many. There's and then so we, many. we move on to the next topic. Yeah. So, but I think we have a lot of really cool things that we're excited to share with you guys. And we're hoping that you come back next week. Yeah. So make sure that you like and, like subscribe. and subscribe. We're new at this. So, yeah. like and subscribe. Follow Tell us on Instagram, Raising Heights Podcast. Yeah. Follow us on Instagram. I should double check that though, actually. Is that what it's called? It's not. What is it? Follow us on Instagram, Raising Heights. Raising Heights. I'll share it on my Instagram. Follow Tori Roloff, Zach Roloff for all the deets. Yeah. So make sure you're subscribed on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and anywhere else you listen to podcasts. Yep. Do your best. Forget, Forget the, the rest. rest.